Hello, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Steve Miller, the assistant principal here at Bishop Montgomery. I've been here my 24th year and uh, my responsibilities is to oversee the athletic program. With that being said, we're excited to announce that we're opening up the campus for uh, students to start coming back and safety is our number one concern. Even though we're limiting the number of students to start, hopefully we can increase that number as the weeks go on. Today, we are going to touch on the protocols we have put in place and hopefully keep everyone from the COVID virus safe. Please follow these protocols. Welcome back. It has been quiet and lonely here on campus without you. Can't wait to see you. Go Knights. Welcome, my name is Eric Wood. I'm the athletic director here at Bishop Montgomery. I would like to welcome you to Bishop Montgomery Athletics and we are coming back to conditioning on October and we ask that you follow all the policies and procedures and we really look forward to having you guys on campus. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Jamie and I'm the athletic trainer here at Bishop Montgomery High School and we are just so excited to have you guys come back to campus and we can't wait to see you all. Following is some reminders of the activities and policies and procedures that we have put together um, to start our uh, conditioning program. The COVID-19 protocol athletes and coaches must show no signs or symptoms of COVID-19 for 14 days prior to coming to practice. If an athlete or coach feels sick or is experiencing any COVID-19 symptoms, they will stay home. If an athlete or coach has tested positive for COVID-19, they may not return to camp campus until they have been cleared by BMHS administration and a physician. If an athlete or coach has confirmed exposure to a positive case of COVID-19, they must quarantine at home for 14 days from the time of the exposure. If you are not comfortable in returning to play, don't. Coaches will respect individual and family decisions. Very important, no penalties for missing practices. At-risk individuals, youth and adults, stay home. Additional or alternative criteria must be used based upon advancements in scientific knowledge, test availability, and athlete or school resources. As you know, things change daily from the county and those are what we follow. Student drop-off procedures. Drop-off will be located inside the front gate of the school at the Easy Up. Students will stay in their car until waved to come to check in at the table. Sign in, temperature check, and screening questions will be asked. If they are cleared, student may then go to the designated conditioning area and the parent may leave. If the student is driving on their own, they will be able to park in student designated parking spots. Any parent staying for the duration of the conditioning practice must stay in their car parked in front of the school. No parents, siblings, or spectators are allowed to watch conditioning practice. Student pickup will be in front of the school by the Easy Up. Practice Guidelines. Bishop Montgomery will follow the LA County Department of Health Guidelines and the guidance from the Archdiocese of Los Angeles issued August 19th to guide all athletic and performing arts activity. All activities will take place outdoors. All players, coaches, and staff will wear appropriate face coverings. Teams will operate in small pods. Social distancing will be required and regulated at all times. Physical distance of at least six feet will be maintained between players and coaches and between players. No contact will be allowed during practices at this time. The maximum number of students on campus at one time is 40. Locker rooms will be closed. Students are required to arrive in appropriate practice attire. Personal water bottles are required. No drinking fountain access. Bathrooms will be limited to single occupancy. Any equipment used will be sanitized immediately after use. Equipment will not be shared, but athletes will be allowed to kick, throw a ball back and forth in pairs, but not as a group. Weight room equipment will be cleaned and sanitized after each use. Frequent breaks to sanitize hands and equipment will be mandated during all practices. Practice guidelines. Students must have a sports physical completed and turned into the trainer in order to participate. 
Students must also have athletic clearance completed and be cleared by the trainer. Arrival and departure. Strict drop-off and departure guidelines will be used to avoid congestion. Staggered practice times will be used to maximize social distancing and limit the number of participants arriving and leaving campus at the same time. Students are expected to arrive on time, not early. Students must leave immediately after practice, no congregating in parking lots or common areas. League and CIF rules. Sports seasons will have staggered starts with the earliest beginning in early December. CIF has condensed from three seasons to two, a fall and spring. All winter sports move to either fall or spring. Boys volleyball move to fall, girls tennis, girls golf, boys and girls soccer, boys and girls basketball move to spring. School, sports, and performing arts. All practices are voluntary. All students must have a valid physical exam on file with the trainer before being allowed to participate in practice. Students will not be allowed to arrive on campus before 145. Students must satisfy daily academic requirements before attending practice. Visitors are not permitted to watch practice, must stay in front area of campus. Thank you. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Mr. Eric Wood, Athletic Director, ewood at bmhs-la.org, extension 269. Ms. Jamie Hagsma, Head Athletic Trainer, J-K-A-M-I-Y-A at bmhs-la.org, extension 261. Or Mr. Steve Miller, Assistant Principal, S-M-I-L-L-E-R at bmhs-la.org. His extension is 241.